Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be setting up our horizontal spreads for the week and I've got my sticker sheets ready to go. I've got some washi tape options and I've got the sticker books that I pulled stickers from including um, some accessory pack stickers that I've cut in half there at the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be the start of a new series. Um, it's going to be a collaboration with Tamara, the paper and pen girl. And um, it's based off of the video I did a few weeks ago, 10 layouts for horizontal planners. So if you haven't seen that video already, please do check it out so that you can follow along with us. And you can also um, post your own spreads using the hashtag 10 horizontal layout um, throughout the series so that you can share your spreads with us as we go along. Um, me and Tamara will both be doing five layouts each so she'll be doing the odd numbered layouts from that video and I'll be doing the evens and um, today my first one that I'll be creating is layout number two the functional mirror. Yeah so let's get to it. So I am going to follow the functional um, mirrored layout, however I start that, uh, the one in the video, one, two, three, and then I go three, two, one, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, please do go watch that video, it um, will make a little bit more sense. But yeah, so I started it that way, and then um, I'm going to do something similar except for I'm going to swap the two and the one, so it's going to go two, one, three, three. Uh, three, one, two, right? Yeah, so two's on the outside, one's on the middle, and three's near the center. So um, it's, you know, again, it's still mirrored, but that is uh, how I wanted to do it because I wanted the checklist to not be um, encumbered by the date, which is there on the um, left-hand side on the first page. So I wanted the checklist to have the full width of the box, top to bottom, so, or height of the box. Um, so, okay, so anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and lay in my checklist for the week and basically I just pulled a couple of list stickers that were um, pretty neutral and then um, I also pulled some colored dots to kind of um, be my alternate checklists. So this spread is awfully um, aqua in tone which is nice uh, probably for some other spreads that I'll be doing, but um, for this week I needed it to be kind of more of a grass green, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover up those lines with some thin washi. And um, I pulled the grass green, and I think I'm gonna do both that, the like uh, watermelon red and the black as well, so I'll just kind of keep those three colors throughout the spread and kind of make that the main focus. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim that out. So now we have um, one more to go and then the color palette, well, sorry, two more to go and then the color palette will be um, all consistent. Okay. See, so I pulled a couple of boxes, as you can see, to kind of uh, put in there, and I think I'm going to turn them sideways just because they're a little bit large, and then cover up the the little today um, or what have you there on the corner, the text on the corner. To do, not today. There we go. And then I pulled a bunch of these to-dos that um, I wanted to do as headers for the alternate checklists. I also grabbed this 
colorful box and um, decided to cut it in half and use it as a focus. trying to see how I want these colors to alternate and how I want to decorate them. I tend to gravitate to a more randomized look when I do my layouts. I, I'm not too big on functional styling as far as everything kind of being in line and, and similar so um, it can, I mean, it can look really good, which hopefully this spread will look good, but I always like a little bit more of a variation in my spreads, just kind of like little surprises, little nooks and crannies to kind of explore. So, um, yeah, so this is a little bit, actually, it's a little bit of a challenge for me to, to do a full spread this way, only because I tend to like the other style a little bit more. But, um, trying to mix it up with some different sizes of colorful boxes and um, also adding in some stylistic things to kind of add little moments here and there um, throughout the spread to keep it interesting. So um, I pulled a bunch of little items to kind of help um, make that happen. And I liked this quote, every summer has a story, um, but I decided I'm going to break it up. Um, I think that'll look nice, kind of split on the page. So I cut it in half. And let's see. Maybe here. Just adding some of those little details, spreading those colors around so we get um, all the watermelon feels. So adding some of these guys in for my decor pieces. Um, in the center and just trying to lay in um, some of those other elements. Okay, I'm going to start laying in some of the more decor items. I thought it would be kind of cute to highlight that quote, kind of tie them together since they're split on the spread um, with this little accent. So yeah, time to start putting in some of those watermelons. Um, let's start with the bigger ones first. I grabbed these from the food um, sticker book, which has come in pretty handy lately. I've been using that um, the last couple weeks with the donut spread, and then I did the popsicle spread. So um, yeah, there's a lot of good items specifically for summer too, but they also have like, you know, fruits and veggies that I've used in my healthy hero spreads as well. And I thought I pulled enough watermelon, but I looks like I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get into the book and use the rest of those. Since the decor is kind of all near the center um, for this layout option, I am dropping in um, the watermelons as the main decor. I couldn't really find a quote or anything that would work in the same way so I think this will be a cute um, way to kind of show you how you can do this functional mirror spread um, 
just with the watermelon and a couple of little decor items here and there. Just trying to drop these in and get the most use out of them that I can. Fill up all the little areas. There we go. Okay. And that Friday looks a little sparse, so I think I need to find something to fill that little area up. I need one or two more watermelons up there. Let's see, let's see. Um, I saw somebody use this washi, I think it was a thinner version of this washi, uh, with watermelons on a spread. Um, I want to say maybe Sunshine Plans. I'm really bad with names, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll try to look it up if I can and um, see if I can find it again and I'll link it below. But um, anyway, so she used like washi tape like this and it looked like watermelon seeds and I thought oh that's cute but when I started to do it I didn't like how it looked it didn't really look like watermelon seeds to me it looked more like a Dalmatian print so I said eh no it's not it's not working for me so I went ahead and pulled that out and then I thought well maybe I'll do dots kind of just the black small dots might work I started laying those in. Which are bad, they're kind of cute. But then, I don't know, felt like too much if I put more anywhere else. So now I'm like, okay, what am I going to do here? I don't know. I don't know. So um, I think I'm going to go back into um, my sticker books. I think I'm going to go back into my sticker books and see if I can find something else to kind of fill that Friday space that I was telling you about and maybe the bottom there too on the, in the notes section underneath story also needs a little something. So... Let me go see what I can find. I thought maybe, but I didn't like the green and the green. I'll put that back. Let's see what else we got. Okay, I think I found something that'll work. I like that. And then, oh, wait, I think I found something even better. Yes, got my Friday sticker there. I like to highlight that Friday. And okay, this is looking good. Um, so I feel like all the space is balanced, but I still want to add a little extra here. So I decided last uh, minute to be like, okay, if I can't get the washi to work, I'll just draw in some watermelon seeds. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And while I'm doing that, um, let me go ahead and remind you guys to use that hashtag 10 horizontal layout, not plural, just layout, um, on Instagram if you want to share your spreads along with us as we go through this series. Don't forget to check out Tamara on her channel at the Paper and Pen Girl and to see what the other half of the layouts look like. And um, I will put a link to her videos in the description below. Um, also, as we go along, I will be setting up a playlist of both of our videos so you can watch as um, the whole sequence of layouts unfolds um, front to back and all 10 in one spot. So that should be pretty fun. Yeah, I'm really excited for this collab, you guys. Uh, we'll both be posting on Friday, if I didn't mention that before. 
So um, check out every Friday, there'll be two new layouts from the both of us for this collab. And hopefully it'll give you guys an idea of how to utilize stickers um, using those 10 layouts for horizontal planners, uh, just to give you visuals um, using decor and stickers. Okay, you guys, so I think we're just about done here. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more of my videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you're new here, uh, welcome. And my name is Stephanie. This is Squared Plans, and we're happy to have you. Please let me know if you have any suggestions for me, and um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Have fun planning out your layouts, and we'll see you next time. Bye.